Well, we just look at sheer data loading performance. Mm. We were looking at um, just loading data that used to take several hours, is now taking minutes, literally minutes. Um, and then the simple questions that we were asking that were taking 10, 15 minutes to return were being returned in milliseconds. So that was kind of like the initial proof of concept that we could take a large data set and run some basic queries against it. So it goes fast. So what? So I can return basic information quickly. So what? But um, when you look at the way our current business intelligence systems work, there's a lot of effort goes into building them. There's a lot of effort goes into supporting them. And it's very much, if you like, it, it, it's solely concerned about business intelligence. Mm. It's not concerned about what else it can do. Right. Um, so, for example, on our, on our current system, for example, we are constantly looking at our, our data model and saying, how can we get into this data? And because of the physical limitations of relational databases, mm. we're having to decide in advance how we're going to access the data. So the indexes we build on the tables, uh, the clustering of the indexes that we do, all have to be predetermined. Mm. And therefore, the questions the analysts can ask are determined by those. It is highly restrictive. And the thing about HANA is it removes those restrictions. Okay. So, for example, um, we do have some difficult questions that the analysts ask that may take several hours to run. Mm. Um, they have to ask them using our current design. And that is not satisfactory. It's not flexible enough. It doesn't give us the agility to ask questions outside of that framework. Mm. HANA takes all that away. Mm. Because HANA, basically, because of it, it, its internal uh, columnar, basically its columnar data store, um, there is no indexing because it is the index. Therefore, we're not constrained by the physical access paths into our database. We can ask questions in any way, which shape and form we like. Mm. For example, one of the hardest questions we can ask involves counting. So how many of this? How many are there? Mm. How many are then? How many before? How many projections? So in a relational database, oh, and, and from a business intelligence point of view, asking for counts is always difficult. In HANA, that goes away. Counts right. then become an acceptable part of our query toolbox, if you like. It, we're enabling the analyst to sort of, sort of think outside of their current framework and say, OK, I can now ask any question I want. One of the burning questions I've been asking is, you know, um, how many uh, sales per draw, per game, now at this retailer versus six months ago, versus a year ago, versus, and how many individual tickets that they have. Mm. And those questions can now be asked and answered, mm. we believe, with a product like HANA in minutes rather than, say, two to three hours. I get quite excited about this because, because I, I do actually think once the business are able to ask and answer their own questions, mm. then they're going to start thinking, ah, maybe I can ask this, maybe I can ask that. And then by the sharing the data and sharing the questions, they'll come up with new insights into the data. Mm. So I see it as sort of like um, tearing down the walls or the sort of um, the restrictions that IT places on, on the business mm. and very much bringing together, in my personal opinion, how business intelligence should be, which is a merging of IT and the business, where business intelligence is, is delivered to the business based on the business decision. So the business, BI for the business, by the business.